You are never about black people in support South Africa. You are just about you are just here to push your own agenda. You be supporting yeah, we support keeping it, but it will never happen, my friend. And then powder happened as if they brought it to your country, your show they brought it to you. No, yeah, they, they did not. Yeah. No. They did not. They did not bring powder to you. They did not. They did not. You you point a finger, you hide your hand. They spreading powder That's, everywhere in the they world. They did not. That's they did way. not. So okay, show me. Show me show me the data that, that says Nigerians brought powder to you. Hmm? How must I show you? Yes, you must. How must I show you? Are you, you, not you made a claim. You made a serious claim. You said it's because of them that they literally brought it. That you that you like them. You embrace them, and you um you didn't have no problem. You welcomed them until they brought the water. That's what you said. We couldn't even care if you come in here with papers or no papers because we were so we are are among the people low IQs in the world. Yeah, IQ. Let me ask a question. He's very low. Keep, your thinking capacity is damn too low, brother. South Africans, you'll regret okay, this. Okay, so I'll give him a minute to bring this forth and bring this one. Bring this one. There's no way. Chris, let me, let me answer, let me answer you. you. Chris, let me answer you quickly. You're talking about powder and how Nigerians are distributing powder, okay? But All over the world, there yes. Been, but there have been articles upon articles whereby YT South Africans have been involved in drug, sorry, powder trafficking. Um, white South Africans dominate powder trade, Mail and Guardian 2019, the rise of white South African powder lords, the citizens 2019. There have been articles upon articles of South Africans, in particular, white tea South Africans involved in powder. And these are all facts, data, statistics. But what you're saying is, is there's, there's no um, factual evidence. And again, the powder dealing, hang on, hang on. The powder dealing is by South African citizens. 60% SAPS reported it in 2019. It is our own people doing this. What are you saying, Chief? You guys are, you guys are only, all, are always no, 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 no. Answer my question. What are you saying? I've just, I've presented you with data. What are you saying? You need to present me. Chief. If, la, 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 me now. I've, I've given you stats and, t stats and statistics. What are you saying? You're not presenting stats or t I'm statistics. Not, I'm not going to be making a reference from the states. I'm going to be making a, from a reference from okay, what I Thank you for proving my point. You're not going to give me data statistics. You're just going to come from an emotional perspective. Thank you for proving my point. So, you, if you don't have a, a, a source because you're saying, and, and I believe, sir, you are, are you South African next to me? Yeah, I am. He doesn't even know you're South African. He said you guys as if you were Nigerian. Exactly. He doesn't even realize that you're South African. Exactly. You should have known by my name. So how foolish are you to not even assume I'm South African? So the joke is on you even more. Okay, so you don't have a source to prove that Nigerians are the ones responsible for bringing it to South Africa as if you were this country free of powder until Nigerians came and they came and it's as if you embraced them and they betrayed you and all of south africa the powder is due to nigerians you have nothing to prove that but that is serious to 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 claim go to their own country let them go to their own country but are we saying that all these things that are happening in our country they will stop they won't because in south africa corruption is too much south africans all those people that are in the top top seat they are contributing to what is happening and they are pushing this narrative to, 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 for us to be fighting each other and it's not good it's not good these people are our are, are our own town if you 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 if you you can you can say all these things that you are saying to your own kind. Some of them, they don't even know where they originate. If, if you go back and check your roots, you'll find that you actually 
belong to nigeria but you don't know that because you you i don't know like it's like your your your, your thinking capacity is not that open you don't think for tomorrow you are just thinking for now to say no abahambe 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 but you don't you are not thinking about tomorrow you are not thinking about no. what they have done for you they have fought for you that your brothers if they done anything wrong you have to sit down and be like no what you're doing is not good let's fix let us let us fix it why this thing of going back and forth and fighting and it's it's not good tomorrow tomorrow we won't be able to control it if all of them turn their back on us we know we have good doctors that are coming from uh, f um, other african countries that are contributing so why are we are we punishing everyone why are we punishing everyone because of one person or two people that is not good it is not good and i'm just i feel sorry for our our children because this thing is gonna affect our children it's not good the lives that they'll be coming from so they're amped up and they say the exact the word for word bar for bar these people say the same thing i am yet till today to hear anyone on that side of the argument say anything different or anything nuanced it's the same rhetoric from all of them so you know it's laden in just propaganda because for somebody like um moabi said for someone that age to say we lived through apartheid you don't know apartheid this that and the other and it's like we watched it's like the rest of africa watched south africans go through that and we were heartbroken we were devastated so like saying it like we went through it like it was other africans that put them through it is just the most ridiculous statement how can you say we went through it as if it was us that put you guys through it we're the only ones that, like moabi said we are the only ones that want to support you so i don't know like i don't know where this is gonna get to but i worry and i fear that all of these we don't need anybody else this rhetoric might get out of hand because if you never needed anybody else then nobody should have aided you during apartheid but you did get the aid so it's it's very ignorant and myopic to say that you don't need help you don't need anyone's help and this is why even now west africans are saying let the whites take um the cape let them do it so you can experience it in real time what everybody's been trying to protect you from and then maybe you'll learn a lesson but obviously there's people that don't want to go through that so yeah um I just appreciate everyone that spoke because yeah you literally spoke my mind so it just shows that we're on the same we're on the same train of thought so come up yeah yeah um i'm just gonna disconnect because it seems to me no matter how much i say to my my people they just want to listen but guys thank you so much for letting me be on this live um and understand that look unfortunately you're gonna have to um migrate through the nonsense to understand that they're logical individuals who understand that this is a deliberate game this is a game designed to focus on the minority issue as opposed to focusing on the majority issues so guys thank you so much for having me focus and, uh, on the minority. i wish you guys the very best Shep. thank you for coming up and you, you guys if you didn't understand he just blamed all of nigeria for that for that problem but the south african was speaking to him and they're both south africans and he thought he was nigerian he said you guys you guys and he was going to go on but he stopped him he don't even realize that he was he was also two south africans speaking to him that's terrible so south africa nigerian issue i've been following it for a while i'm actually a nigerian i've lived in nigeria all my life but i do travel and then come back but i've never been to south africa so let's even look at what these guys are always on about yeah when you talk about nigerians are in south africa we have 250 million nigerians right um out of that we have just 25,000 nigerians living in south africa and if you look at the statistics that's barely one percent 
and you think one percent is going to run over your country and you start acting like um permit my french when i say fools because when you look at uh, okay there was one time i was in ghana for a project um i think the airbnb i stayed the next um apartment or townhouse was actually occupied by the south african embassy or so i think that's like the lodge so you guys make it look like when i say you guys i mean the south africans you guys make it look like you don't actually have a need to be in another country even in lagos here we have the mtn we have a lot of south african companies and i can even say that nigeria actually hosts the largest population of um the african um, people because when you come out to any hangout spot in lagos you, you keep seeing people from all over the country having fun not even all over the country all over the world having fun and nigerians don't care because if you if you are in a place and you're going about your business the right way nobody cares as long as you're adding value so when you come to south Af uh, the south africans making excuses that um people are doing powder or whatever that means um the powder you're talking about don't you have organizations don't you have um, um authorities that have been saddled with the responsibility of fishing these people out because we have in nigeria we have the ndlea and every day in the airport here because i stay close to the airport uh, motala mohammed airport they actually catch a lot of people trying to smuggle drugs in and out different nationals and that is their job say powder. you've been saying powder don't say the d-word you know powder here means a different thing in nigeria so i, I guess i'm still struggling to understand and fnb used to be called eastern national bank in south africa now uh you, you are looking for bank statements that uh, that shows where they were channeling this money into the uh, the bank statements of the ANC. You're not going to find that because ANC was banned at the time, so they they were operating outside. And Nigeria wasn't only helping ANC; it helped a lot of a lot of uh, 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 what you call. Uh, uh, struggle military wings in the southern hemisphere in the southern Africa you go you you can talk about Frelimo in Mozambique you, you can talk about uh, ZANU PF in in Zimbabwe uh, um, Umkondo SCs with the real Umkondo SCs were not not these pretenders uh, APLA uh, and all of them they were helping all of them and you are not going to see the bank charges and the bank statements because they used to help them uh, to buy arms to train you think ammunition is free <laughs> it cost a lot of money so these people would not have uh, had uh, would not have gone to these camps where they used to live and eat and bath and had uh, uh, ammunition to practice on how they were going to fight their enemy in these countries if it wasn't the help of countries like nigeria but i know your narrow your narrow view is that you want bank statement that is going to show you from folks cars where the money was channeled if you're not going to find it go and look at the bullets that were used in those in those camps uh you know when when they were training go and look at the ammunition that was used uh, in those camps you will find nigerian money in those because those things are not free the food go and go go and go and go and check the feces uh that they they dropped everywhere in the african continent of the food that they were eating from the money that came from uh, nigerians that's where you're going to find the the the, the evidence of uh, where this money went you're not going to find it in uh, banks uh, in 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 banks uh, statements at folks cars you're not going to find it in yes the national bank of your apartheid government you're not going to find it there so this narrative must you know be unalived today it must be buried today that you are looking for bank statements you're not going to find it you're going to find it in those camps those ammunitions and and and, and bullets they are there they they cost a lot of money which by the way nelson mandela did not have oliver tambo did not have he did not have a lot of money to go and buy those things he they couldn't they could not afford that so you, 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 all these africans who are intervening on the issues of africa are justified you must intervene until south africans are consciously uh, out of this uh, slumber that they find themselves in you must keep talking about them you must you must press hard until they understand that this in fact even this land that they are saying 
Even this land that they are saying we, you can't unite in, it is an African land. South Africa is an African land. Africans have every right to unite here. It's an African land. You must not apologize for that as Africans for coming to South Africa. You mustn't. And I, tomorrow when I'm in Nigeria, I'm not going to uh, apologize for being in Nigeria. It's my land too. If I go to Mozambique tomorrow, it's my land too. It's my land. This is an African land. This is an African matter for African people. So Africans, you have every right to intervene and talk to South Africans about these issues. Don't apologize for that. You have to be pitied. For Besides, the, the land is yours. So me, what I can say is that the black South Africans, those who are awake, keep pushing, preach to them, liberate them from their mental slavery. For us, we are far. We, 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 uh, as I am speaking, I'm in the Western Africa. Um, I don't know one way or the other. Sometimes my post gets to South Africa and other stuff. So you, those are there. You can work hard. And I said something. That's the problem of South Africa. Is South Africans themselves. Yes, because the land... At some point, like, South Africans never had even a problem with... Um, african people coming to south africa whether they are illegal or not illegal because like we embrace these people as long as they came here to do a good living you understand whether it is business whether they came here as students whether they came here to work we couldn't care because like we so we look at them as our brothers and sisters the only thing that i think people are running away from is for us to condone crime and we're not condoning sorry we're not um reprimanding crime only from nigerians zimbabweans and we also like the word mob justice that word mob just mob justice like the first time i heard of that word was here in south africa so this is how we deal with people that are doing crime even we with our own south african people we react if the police can react we don't have time to go and report all these crimes if you're gonna be saying that no um nigerians are not the one that are causing the problem of powder we see them we don't see in nigeria so we don't see russians on the streets we don't see mexicans on the street we see them you understand so if they're gonna be allowing them to be used by these russians that we don't know of, by these Mex mexicans that we don't know of, and then when we call them out and then now they give us attitude and telling us that we must go and fight our land you don't even have a land in nigeria yourself you're claiming to have a land that land is not your government Go to the U.S. in Kensington and um, um, San Fran. You see a lot of um, zombie avenues of people suffering from powder. These things are they, are they are not accepted anywhere in the world. So, if for instance you find Nigerians dealing in some of these your powder accusations, you can go ahead and arrest them. They've broken your laws. That's fine. Put them through your justice system. But you cannot then look at every other Nigerian and start harassing them and telling them that they are doing powder. Even people that are doing legitimate business, you say they are doing powder. And mind you, that's people it. are in, in different I'm sorry, your time. All right, um, thank you, thank you. I think I'll just even stop because it's crazy. Go. You yeah, don't have to go. You. I'm just telling you your time.